Okay, we are go. Um, right, so, hi, yes. How's it going? I hope everybody's okay. Hope everybody is safe. And, you know, you're uh, chillaxing at home. Welcome to the art class. Hello. So, what I thought was this was probably the best way to work with you guys. Um, we um, are going to do a little life, still life painting. Okay, now, first things first, don't panic, okay, because I know you're used to me being there beside you, doing this work, but we can get through this, we can get this done. It's not, we're going to keep it simple, not too complicated, and we'll get this done, okay. The second thing is, don't expect to get all this done in this one class, okay. Do a bit now, the video is here on YouTube, and you can go back to it and finish your painting then later on, all right. I'm going to do it all in one sitting, but I don't expect you guys to do that. And anybody else that's randomly watching this, hi, how are you? Um, welcome to the art class. So, your supplies. I've given you some cards. Okay. So this is your card that I gave you. I think I gave you two pieces. Now there's a slightly shiny side and then there's a rough side. Okay, we're going to use the rough side because it'll soak in the paint a bit better. All right, so that's the first thing I gave you. This, oh, that's going to beep all the way through. Don't just ignore it. The second thing then was a pencil. Probably looks a little bit different to one of these, but just standard pencil. And I gave you a set of paints. Now, these are my own paints at home, but the ones I gave you are just more or less the same. Okay, as long as we have the colours, it doesn't really matter what type of paints they are. Okay, so there's a variety of colours inside. So you need your jar of water, whatever you're going to use, or cup, um, and paintbrush. So I'm just going to use one paintbrush for the whole thing, because I gave you guys one paintbrush, and it's about the same size as the one that I gave you. Okay, so I've done a little sketch. Don't panic when you see this. Done a little sketch of what roughly we're going to draw. Okay, now normally when you're doing a still life, you would have the object sitting in front of you somewhere over there. Um, that's not going to happen today because I wanted to do up something very simple because of the circumstances and you guys working at home. Um, but I've done this many times, so we, it won't matter if the objects are in front of us or not. Okay, so step one, you're going to get your paper, line it up. All right. And then about three quarters of the way down, you're just literally going to do pencil, line going across. And keep your line light. Don't lean too heavy. Keep it nice and light, okay? This is sketching in. This is the sketching in part, okay? We're going to very, very lightly with our pencil. I know this is tilted to one side, but I think you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Let me have a look at it. Yeah, you should be able to see what we're doing. So we're going to do a circle here, very, very, very lightly, okay? We'll be rubbing out that line later on, so don't worry about it. And we're going to do another bigger circle about here, okay? So pause the video and do those, that step first, okay? Now, so then the next part we're going to do, we're going to bring this up. This is the neck of the jug. We're going to do a circle, like a squished circle, there. Okay, so do that. Pause the video. Do that piece next. Okay, then what we're going to do is, we're going to do a very, very light. Now keep your pencil nice and light. I'm using quite a, a dark pencil, a 2B pencil, so that's why this is dark. We're going to do a little triangle, which looks a bit mental, but it'll make sense. There. Okay. Hope the video is picking this up now. I'm recording up overhead as well, so one of them is going to work for us. And then we're going to do a line coming up here. Okay. Another line coming up here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry about it being perfect at all. We're doing the same squatch circle up the top. Now don't do a circle that way. Keep your circle this way. Okay. Line coming down. 
and they're a little, see the way I'm not doing a straight cross, I'm curving it slightly, coming in. Okay, so pause your video, see if you have all those shapes. Now think about it, it's only two circles, two squash circles, a triangle, and then just joining up everything upwards. Alright, and if you do it step by step, if you make a mistake, don't worry about it, rewind the video a little bit, and then just do it again. Alright? Okay, next step. We're going to turn this into an apple. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little dip here. Right? And a little line coming out like that. Now we've got the circle, but we're going to change the shape. So we're going to bring it down. Okay, so see the way I'm bringing it in a little bit at the edge. A little tiny dip there, and we've got a nice shaped apple. All right, sure, we'll stick a leaf in there as well. And I'm pausing so you can pause the video and go, you know, try and do that little bit and then go back. Okay, so our jug in the background, we are going to bring this line up. I'm going to make this now a little bit darker as you can see. I'm going to bring the little lip out here for pouring okay and we're just going to blend that in and bring it around okay so just do that bit now don't worry about the next bit okay so now we're going to go up and around this is the handle of our jug and again we're not going to worry too much about it just sketching this in because we're going to be painting this with these lovely colours afterwards. So it'll all come together in the end. So if your handle's a bit smaller or a bit straighter, don't worry about it. Once you've got it drawn, it doesn't matter what it looks like. Now we're going to do the kind of glass here. We're just going to tidy up the edges a little bit. Now we're going to bring this in a tiny bit actually. Darken our background, okay. Now over here, we're actually where we've got the guideline for the triangle. What we're actually going to do is just a whole load of circles. So these are going to be grapes. It's not a perfect triangle. Don't worry about it. That's good enough. Because what we're doing, when we're putting these lines down, they're only guidelines. That's all they really are. And we're going to do our line in here. Okay? So that's your first part. That's your sketch done. Now, you know, I should be more prepared than this. And I don't know where my eraser is. say be prepared and all that and I'm not <laughs> okay do you know what we'll worry about that later so next part we're going to imagine that there's a big huge spotlight here now I'm drawing this in really really lightly okay and we're just gonna go like that with our pencil keep your pencil nice and light because we'll definitely be rubbing those bits out. That's only a guideline. Okay? Okay. So. There's a line there for the bottom of the pot. So now we're ready to start painting. Okay? So I'm going to pause now. You sit and have a little look at this. And look at your own picture. Now the other thing to notice as well. And I should have said at the start is. Where I'm putting it on the page. If you draw that apple too big, your pot here is going to come up to the top here, okay? So when you're putting your first circles in, think about how much space is needed around it, all right? So that's something to take note of. Now, if your apple is bigger 
and your pot goes off the edge of the page or up to the very nearly the top of the page, it's fine. Don't tear it up, don't rub it out, just leave it. It'll be fine as long as it's drawn on this paper, that's all that matters. Okay? Okay, so we're going to go for some colour now. And I really want to rub out these lines. I don't know where my eraser is, is the one in here. Okay, we'll just have to do it later. So, what I want you to do is rub out these lines here, these lines here, okay, these lines here, anything that's not really supposed to be there, you can decide, okay, like these lines here, okay, um, and you, you know, you'll be able to decide that. So I'm going to start with a nice green. So a light green. Now this set has two greens. If yours only has one, that's fine. I'm only going to use one. So I think yours might only have one. Maybe it has a light and a dark. Doesn't matter. We're going to use this green and then for the dark shades, we're actually going to use blue. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're imagining the lights coming from here. Okay. And we're just going to paint this in. You see the way now it soaks up and that's because it's not on the shiny side of the card. If we paint onto the shiny side, it kind of rubs off a lot easier. It's not too bad, but it's better on this side. Now I'm using a good bit of water, okay, because we want to spread this around. So that's it, just block it in the colour. That's it, that's enough. Now if you've just done, in this first class, you've only done the drawing part, that's fine. You know, if it stressed you out too much, leave it. Oh, there's a beep again, sorry about that. Leave it and we'll come back to it, okay? And do the painting next week for the next class, okay? But if, you, if you're enjoying this and it's relaxing, <coughs> crack on with it, okay? Now this jug here, I'm actually going to paint this in like a red colour. Okay, so whatever your red, go for red or orange, whichever you want, because I will be doing shades on it as well. Okay, so you're literally going to just block in the colour. So I'm imagining there's little gaps between those grapes. If you go over the grapes, it's not a big deal, don't worry about them actually make them a dark colour. So that'll help us. And now I'm going to add more, a, bit, a bit more water. Now if you have a little flat head brush, that's what these are called. See the way it goes straight across? That's got a flat head brush. So if you have one of these, it's great for blocking in loads of colours. But when you're going to do an edge, instead of using it that way you've got to use it that way okay so you get like a line excuse my dirty paint hands but you know what I mean Okay, I'm happy 
thing for that. We're going to leave that at that. We're going to go into these grapes, okay? So again, we're going to use, mm, let's see. So if we mix up a uh, red, okay, with a little bit of blue, we're going to get what color? Purple. What I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to go and block them all in. Where all the grapes are sitting, I'm just going over the whole bunch. And just take your time. If you make a mistake, it doesn't matter. Always fix them up. Just thinking as I'm working here, if you want, you can, you know, if you're really worried about it or stressed out about it, you can email me a picture of how far you've got and I can give you a bit of advice. We can make it work. So that's my grape, so it's a purpley colour red and blue okay so i'm going to actually now put a bit for the background and for the tablecloth as well and i think i'm going to go for like a mustardy kind of color no wait now i don't have mustard i'm just thinking so we go for yellow we'll go for a nice yellow keep it nice and bright Plenty of water in with your paintbrush. Okay, plenty of water. These got water colours for a reason. You need plenty of water in them. Okay. So we are literally just going behind. Now I really should have rubbed out those uh, paint lines, pencil lines. Now I'm not going to try, I'm going to try and not touch off the other paint that's wet I'm going to try and keep away from it my phone's right beside me while I'm recording this so I hope it don't sound too loud but sure needs be and all the rest It's all looking a bit blocky at the moment, okay? Because we haven't done any of the shading at all. So we're not going to worry too much until we start doing a bit of shading. That little run there, see where I touched off it? Not to worry, so bleed in. happens to you wipe off your brush try it off and lift it up now you could use a bit of tissue okay I'm an artist I just use my hand <laughs> okay so I've lifted off the color I'm sure you're looking at this going oh yeah not even clean hands deal with it washing my hands I did wash my hands okay right so we've got that bit done so now what we're going to do is we're going to get see this purple that we mixed up here yeah we're going to get a bit of yellow okay we're going to put it over the side here you'll have a little mixing palette the side of your paints as well 
we're going to mix a little bit of purple into a tiny bit we're going to get this kind of brown earthy color so it's like just like an off yellow okay beepity beep I don't even know if the beeps are coming up now in the video so underneath on our table we are going to use this Now with these brush strokes I'm going across, not up and down, across as much as I can. Now if yours is a bit darker or a bit lighter it doesn't matter. Don't worry too much I'm going to mix up a bit more here. A bit more yellow, a bit more of the purple. We're just blocking it in. Now, I'm not actually going to go out to the edges of the page, right? It doesn't need it, and sometimes it looks good. It looks all arty-farty to leave it in the middle of the paper. Now I'm going to get a bit of tissue, and I'm going to clean my palette, which I should have done before I started. But there you go. Sometimes we don't always be as prepared as we'd like. So I hope yous are all good. I hope you're all keeping well, staying indoors, not getting too much cabin fever like we are here. Trees are fine. Wait, you see now. Another week and you'll actually miss us. Wait, you see. <laughs> I can nearly hear you saying you must be joking. Now you notice we haven't done the glass yet, okay? So I'm going to show you a little trick for the glass. We're not going to make things anything too complicated, okay? We're going to keep it simple. As simple as I can. Okay, it's clean enough. Right, so we are going to go with the joke now. And we have this purple mixed up. No, we won't use purple actually, we'll use a bit of blue. So we're going to get a bit of blue. Now we're going to put plenty of water again into our paint. Okay. And whatever red you used for your joke, I use this one here. Whatever red you have, add a little bit of it to the blue. We don't want too much paint on our <coughs> brush for this thing. So we're imagining the light is coming from here and going downwards. Okay. So what we're going to do is a little bit of paint. We're going to go down this side of our jug. It's the darker colour. We're going to bring it down and into here. Very similar to the colour of the grapes. We're going to go around. Okay. And just like that. And the inside of the handle. Now this might be tricky so you're only tapping it with the edge of your paintbrush. If you go over the edge, it doesn't matter. Okay, 
create to create a shine on the jug because remember the light's coming down here god that phone's never gonna stop beeping so the light coming down here we're gonna put a little light area here look see just now all i've done is i've gotten water on my brush no paint water little bit here a little bit of tissue and just lift it up okay and we do a little bit of line here as well all right Now, as the paint is drying, you'll see it's actually getting lighter as well, the actual paint. All right. If you have any of these little specks, doesn't matter, a little bit of water, a little bit of tissue. We'll dry it up, we'll touch that up with the yellow in a minute. I'll try to do all this in one sitting, so we'll see how it goes. If we can't do it all in one week, we'll do part two the next day. So, I'm going back to my blue. Okay, in the palette, put over a little bit of blue, more control this way, a little bit of water, we don't want it too dark. Okay, and we're going to add a little bit of green, so this is going to be the shading for the apple now. Okay, so we've a really dark green. <coughs> so we're going to go in here, put our little bit of shading. All down one side of the apple. Oh God, I should have turned off notifications. You think people wanted to talk to me, huh? <laughs> okay, so we're going down that side there, just like that. Now I don't really need to do any more there. I'm going to leave that alone. Okay, now we're going to get our blue again. Clean place. A little bit of clean place, okay. We're going to get our blue. Blue is being used a lot for the shading, that's grand. A little bit of water, we don't want it too dark. Okay, and what we're doing is we're going over the pencil lines, the edge. Again, I should have rubbed out that line. You'll have it rubbed out. We're going to bring a little bit more lines on one side. Okay. I think that's probably nearly enough. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so next step. A little bit of brown. Okay. Now, if you don't have brown, use green and red mixed together, and it'll give you a type of brown. Okay. Or red, orange, and blue might give you the same, but I'd say I'd say red and green would be better off. So we're going to just use the edge, the little tiny tip of the brush. We're just going to go up a little zip. Maybe a tiny bit. That's it. Don't do any more. That's fine. Okay. Rinse out your brush. Now you know your dark green. <laughs> the fabric was still wet. I don't know what the colour was. It didn't soak in enough. Okay, we'll go for it anyway. Second. So dark green that I've mixed up if you have any left. If you don't, you get your bit of green and you get a bit of blue. Nice dark, dark green. This is for the leaf. I don't think that's dark enough, so a little bit too cold. Again, I'm using the corner of the brush. I think your brush is probably a bit narrower, which is easier. 
Okay, she's not looking too bad then. Now next thing, I'm going to put the little highlight. A little bit of a highlight. So I'm just getting water on my brush. Just water, not too much. I'm going to gently rub here. For our apple. Okay, and then maybe a little bit of tissue. So we're imagining again the light's coming down this way. Okay, yeah, next thing. Now, with our water, we're going to do little tiny bits of highlights on our face. See the way I'm doing them at the top? I'm imagining the beam of lights coming down onto them. said to you, you can do this in two parts. I'm not expecting you to have done this in one part. You know, if you got to the drawn and you got the block colours in, brilliant. Come back to the shading the next day. That's fine. Too late to tell you that now, isn't it? <laughs> and I really, really hope, I really hope this video is recording. I'm using my phone and a camera up overhead. Otherwise, I'll be sitting here doing this again. Okay, so I'm only using water and the brush, that's all. Just to lift off the paint a little bit. Don't even need to use the tissue. The secret is to have not too much water on your brush, okay? So we're not looking for anything that's too complicated. Okay, nice and simple. Now I was going to go in around them with a darker colour, but because the brush is so thick, I don't want you to do that. I'd rather you come back to the centre and we'll use a bit of pencil. So don't do that, okay? The last thing we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of a shadow. Okay, so I'm trying to decide what colour to use as the shadow. So this is the brown. It, remember, it was purple purple and the yellow that's all that was so I have a bit of purple here so I'm going to just get another little bit of yellow okay but this time I'm going to put a bit more purple into it now ideally I should have a piece of card and I should be testing my colors as I go along but um, considering I didn't even have an eraser rubber uh, forget about it but it's no harm if you want to do that. I keep the test sheets, you know that I'm always saying that to you. So I've got kind of a, like a murky browny yellowy colour. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go out. So you can see there's still lots of water in this so it's not too thick. The yellow is peeping through. It's probably dark in there, isn't it? light won't be getting there at all. I'm just dabbing it on. You don't need to come down too far. Okay. maybe enough now. With that dark colour, okay, we're just gonna bring it in. I don't know if it's strong enough. Probably need to be stronger. Just make it a bit thicker. Okay, so just this paper, if you paint it again, it kind of lifts it, lifts the colour off, so it's not great that way. So the 
that's why I don't want to go over everything too much. It's a bit dark there. But it doesn't matter. If you have dark spots, it's fine. Leave them. This is bled, but you know, we're just, watercolors do that. It's kind of like part of the technique and that's okay. Keep it loose. Just trying to add a little bit of darkness and I think I'm going to try and add just a tiny bit of darkness with this tiny tip. You don't have to do this. is a bit too wide. To get into those little bits. Okay, so I'm happy enough with that as a simple little still life. Um, as I said to you, you, do this in two parts if you want or sit and do this for the class. It's up to you. Pause it every time you're unsure, okay? So do a little bit of draw, pause it, have a look, you know, change anything you want to change. Do the same with the colors and, you know, as I say, have a little rough piece of paper and test out your colors before you put them on. The colors don't have to be the exact same as this, okay? You can do your own colors and, um, you know, you can do, like a blue pot if you want but just make sure the first color you put down say if this is pot is going to be or the jug is going to be blue make sure the first shade of blue you put down is light so you can do the shadow because if this is all dark blue you're not going to get the shadow on it okay and what the examiner will be looking for is like a highlight and a shadow so like trying to create this 3d effect and this is a very very simple little um, watercolor so you know, if we were in class, we might do a little bit more detail, but we're not going to worry about that for now. If you get this amount done, that would be absolutely fantastic. And um, so until next time, I hope this video gets uploaded. I hope it all works out and I hope that you guys are OK. All right. Now, I'll be on the chat during class time while this is you're watching this. So you can ask me any questions. And good luck, okay? And I will see you all. Please, hopefully, uh, universe, please God, very, very soon. Okay, go on, take care of yourselves now. Bye-bye.